Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, we are gonna take a look at fonts which were added in Android 26 API, which is also known as Oreo, or you can also use them when you have at least the version 26 of App Compat support library. Before the API 26, adding custom fonts was pretty hard in Android because it wasn't intuitive. You had to do a lot of work for something as simple as fonts. Thankfully, now it goes like a breeze. So by the end of this tutorial, you will create this kind of app, which has three simple text views. One of them has a nice font, which is called Lemonada Bolt. And then the other font is Rocket. The difference between them is that the first one is downloadable font and the second one is included right inside the app as a font file TTF. And then you will also learn how to set fonts programmatically. So now the font is off for the third text view, but we can turn it on and the font for this text view will change. And then we can also turn it off again and toggle it really nicely. So let's get right to it. We are going to create a new app fonts tutorial and we are going to include Kotlin support and make sure to select empty activity. And now we can finish. A prerequisite for using fonts on API versions less than 26, which is Oreo, is to have App Compat version 26, App Compat as a support library. So let's go to build a Gradle for the module app. And you should have this library already if you've set up the project exactly as I've set it up. So let's scroll a bit down and here we can see that we have App Compat. If you don't have it here, add it like this implementation, com Android support App Compat, and then the version. It needs to be at least version 26. All right, now let's go over to activity main XML. I will not bore you and I will just paste three text views over here. And not only text views, we also have a toggle button. They are all assigned IDs. The button is ID button. And then we have text view one, text view two and text view three. When we go over to designer, so design tab down here and select the first view text view, we can see that we can select a font family right on the right side of the screen. When we click this and we can see that when we scroll down, we have an option for more fonts. When we select more fonts, we can search for fonts. So let's search for Lemonada, L-E-M-O-Nada. So we can select this and let's select the bold one. We're going to hit OK. And we can immediately see that we have a nice font for the first text view. If we take a look at what we just did by going to the same font family and hitting more fonts, you can see that we have Lemonada as a downloadable font because we have added it as this. Create downloadable font was ticked even when we were adding Lemonada. You can also select add font to project and that will add the font to project. So it will be right there and it will now be downloadable, meaning that it will bloat your APK size. Font files are not huge, but either way, they're going to be added to your APK. When you create downloadable font, they are not going to be in your APK, but they are going to be downloaded when the user launches the app for the first time. So downloadable fonts are cool, but sometimes you just cannot use them. When we click on the second text view and also change the font family, so more fonts and let's search for rocket. We have only two options, regular and bold. But when we go over to a browser, and go to fonts.google.com, link is in the video description, and search for Rocket over here, we can see that it has thin style, extra light, light regular, medium, semi-bold, bold, extra bold, and black. But over in Android Studio, it has only two styles, regular and bold. So what's up with that? Well, it turns out that some fonts don't have all of their styles inside Android Studio. And some other fonts may not even be available at fonts.google.com. So you cannot add them as downloadable fonts unless you do some sort of trickery or you just cannot add them at all in some instances. This is the perfect place for adding fonts right inside your app so that they will be bundled inside your APK. So what we are going to do in this case is that we want to select this font and then we can click here and we want to download this selection. 
I've already downloaded it. So go to the download location for this font file. You want to unzip this. We are gonna select the medium and black styles and we are going to copy them, so Control c Now let's go over to Android Studio and we wanna put these fonts into the font resource directory. So let's open up app, res, and then we have font. If you didn't add a downloadable font before, this font directory is probably not there. So what you wanna do in that case is that you wanna right click on res, you wanna create a new Android resource directory and name it font and hit OK. But we have it already, so we wanna right click on font, we wanna open it in Explorer, so show in Explorer, open that up and paste these two font files in here. A really important thing is that the naming convention for Android is pretty strict. You cannot have dashes in here, you can only have underscores and only like lowercase letters. So we need to rename these files to rocket underscore black all in lowercase and also rocket medium all in lowercase and with underscore. Awesome, now when we come back to Android Studio, it's going to refresh and we have two fonts over here. You can immediately recognize that these two fonts are not downloadable because they are actual font files TTF, whereas the first one, the downloadable font, is an XML and it basically only specifies the location for the font, so where we should get it. It's not really inside the app, it's just going to be downloaded as soon as it can be, meaning that when the user launches the app. As for these two non-downloadable fonts, that's a completely different story. They are right there inside the app, they are bundled inside the APK. So let's switch from the design tab over to XML. For the text view 2, we are going to add a font family. So right here, font family, and it's going to be rocket black. And we can immediately see that the font was applied and it looks really cool. Let's also change the font for the button, for the toggle button, so we are gonna put font family even here, and this time it's going to be rocket medium. All right, now let's go to main activity class and we are gonna change the font of this third text view programmatically. All right, so whenever the toggle button, which has ID button, is clicked and its check state is changed, so set on check change listener, compound button, and the B will be renamed to checked. And if the button is checked, we wanna find the third text view and we wanna set its typeface to be from resources compat because we wanna be using this code even on API less than 26 and we wanna get font for the context this and the font is r.font.rocketmedium. If it's not checked, so else, we wanna set the typeface for the text view three to be equal to typeface.default. And now when we run this app inside an emulator, we can see that we are inside our fonts tutorial app and the third text view is working as expected. So and that's it for this tutorial. If it helped you to understand how fonts work on API 26 and also with the support library, give this video a like and also share it. If you don't want to miss more videos like this, I post one every single week. Subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you aren't gonna miss any of my new videos. To get the code from this tutorial, check out the link in the video description, which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. If you have anything to say, leave a comment, follow me on social media, and see you in the next video.